Y'all, I don't know what came upon me, but all of a sudden I wanted some box braids. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some easy knotless braids at home. We don't have to spend the 300 plus dollars for the salon chair. It was really simple and I only used one pack of hair, which is honestly still surprising to me. So this is the hair that I used. I have no idea how much it costs because you know the beauty store never has prices on anything. I think these are about $5 and it's 48 inches pre-stretched and I only use one pack of this for my hair. So my hair is super flat, really lightweight and this hair does not itch at all whatsoever. It's not bulky, nothing. Literally one pack of hair. It can go in a ponytail, no problem. Like, no problem. For the blow drying method, it's the same method and the same blow dryer that I used in my last blow drying video. If you missed that, link that above and link that down below for you. So it was about two hours each section. So a total of eight hours is what it took me. I didn't finish them all in one day because I have kids and I have a job and I have other things to do. So I just did little by little just to, you know, get me by. Yeah, let's get right into it. I am starting off on freshly washed blow dried hair and I actually did something different this time. I started from the front instead of starting from the back and I'm also doing my parting as I go. I'm adding some shine and jam to help my hair stay nice and flat. Then I'm going to take three strands and start braiding from the base. I'm going to braid it about two to three times before I add my piece of hair. When I do add that piece of hair, I'm going to go in with small pieces so it doesn't look too bulky too quick. So I want it to look nice and seamless as if it's actually my real hair. Once I reach towards the end of the braid, I'm going to add some more shine and jam just to keep the ends nice and smooth and it'll be easier to keep them tucked away underneath that braid.
the parting in the back was definitely the most difficult i'd recommend investing in a trifold mirror i did the old-fashioned way with the handheld and the medicine cabinet it was a lot of work but it still worked out I'm finishing up on one of my last braids there I am tucking in those ends again braiding all the way down and then this is the finished look came out absolutely amazing let me know how you like it down below thanks guys all right guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one